you got player of the game with the goal and two assists today. So what was it for you that you think, you know, with the mindset of playing in St. Louis allowed you to just get off to a hot start and really see the ice well today? And can you talk about um, the experience of getting to continue this tour in St. Louis today? Yeah, um, obviously for women's hockey, there's been a lot that's been going on. Um, So to get this event, kind of to get the time with the date switched and then obviously the World Championship being canceled, um, I think for all of us, it's kind of just like take every advantage of every game we can play. And um, we were really excited to come to St. Louis the first time, so we're glad it worked out to play here. It was awesome. Um, the rink is amazing, um, just a great venue. And to play in front of fans again was super fun. But yeah, there's a lot of people with Missouri ties, with St. Louis ties, so it was, it was definitely a fun game that we're all looking forward to. We get Mike Murphy, please. Hey, Kelly. Congrats on the win in a big game. Um, it's something we've all been waiting for is a the first shorthanded goal, uh, something where it impacts the, the, the standing and the score. I know you and you and Danny connected after that great play by Lee in the defensive zone. Was it after the goal celebration, did you realize, oh yeah, this counts a little extra, right? This is a little extra special because of the scoring system. Yeah, it's funny. If you watch the power plays, everyone looks a little bit tentative because you know on both sides there's teams, there's players that can take advantage of shorthanded goals. and. That one, we were out there for, I think it ended up being a minute and 56 seconds. And Lee just did a great job. I think it was against Keller up on the wall behind the D zone and um, just made it a battle. And Danny picks it up. And I just tried to skate my fastest to catch up, knowing that it was kind of close because I was pretty tired. We were out there for a while. And yeah, to kind of get a get a shorthanded goal there was really fun. And then the realization, too, and that it's actually still shorthanded is, is always nice. Thanks so much. Do you have any other questions? Uh, Mike, go ahead. Thanks. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll ask one more. Um, obviously, you know, it was really special. We haven't gotten to see you guys get to play in front of fans. And, and it's, you know, it's one of those things we, we always say it. it's special to see, you know, little girls in the crowd and, you know, cheering everyone on. But this one might have like just watching from home. It felt a little extra special to see the families there, you know, kids all masked up, people being safe, but also getting to be at the game. And, you know, I know we didn't have too many people because of, you know, restrictions and being smart and safe but was it still special to see some faces in the crowd a nice change from you know being in you know Madison Square Garden and not having anyone in the stands and things like that yeah I mean so much of what we do both with the PWHPA and also just with women's hockey is focused on that next generation and the next group of people and players and young girls coming up behind us so it is like it's awesome when you walk out onto the ice and there's girls reaching over for high fives and they're just so excited to be there Um, it reinforces what we're doing um, this past year and a half for women's hockey, for women's hockey players, I think has been very exhausting and draining. And it just makes it so much easier to hop on that ice and look around and see young girls that are so excited to see you play. And they don't necessarily know who you are. They just know that they want to be you one day. Um, it just makes it really special and so much more fun and enjoyable to, to get on the ice. Absolutely. Thanks so much. We get David from the Puck Authority, please. Hey, Kelly, thanks for doing this and congratulations on the game today. Uh, I was just wondering, given the fact that it's been a while since the last game here, uh, how was it kind of getting back onto the ice? And was there ever, you know, did it ever go through your head that with COVID and the current situation that we're in, that there might not be another chance to play this season? Yeah, um, like I said before, every time, you know, especially in the last two months, every time um, you can get on the ice, you got to make the most of it. And, you know, for some of us too, we have some stuff coming up that, you know, we got to stay sharp for. So, and just in general, like, you know, the other team is going to come ready to play. So you just want to take advantage of that and make the most of it. And also you have to, because if you don't play well, the other team's going to show up and they're going to make it really hard for you. So, so yeah, it's definitely, it's, it's weird. Just you try not to look too far ahead in this COVID world that we're living in still. So just take it one game at a time and make the most of it. Justin Levine, please. And bouncing off that last question, uh, talking further to the COVID challenges that have been presented this season, uh, for you, you know, when you look at your team and how they performed today, do you think that that uh, that 
again, the long break since March 7th, the last time you guys played, which was in Chicago, um, has had any effect on, you know, preparing for this one? Or do you feel that your team has had enough time to kind of get themselves uh, both from an individual stance and uh, a stance of working to get, working together, whatever that's looked like, whether that be training in hubs uh, or in small groups, you know, getting prepared for this one? Do you feel that that played any effect on the outcome of today's game? You know, I think for us in Minnesota, we actually been really fortunate to have a good chunk of our team uh, basically be together since September. I think to answer that question best is to look back that we've actually been playing together since September um, and to look to make it a season where I think this is our fifth game for the entire season starting in September. It's just a lot. It's just very like usually right now. I mean, I think it'd be the last day of the world championships. Um, so hopefully would have been playing, you know, in the championship there, but usually it's off season. That's the, the hardest part is that it's been however many months of not really a lot of games, you know, kind of just practicing or training or work, like doing all the stuff that you do in a normal season, but not really getting to do the most fun part of it, which is play the games. So I think that's just kind of what makes it the hardest is that it's, you know, middle of May and we're still playing regular season type hockey. Uh, last call for questions. All right. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you. We're going to have Nicole Hensley up.